Okay, what is going on, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. What's up? How's everybody doing today? Welcome to my gameplay stream for the day. Only one today, because it is the weekend. On weekends, I, you know, take time out to do other stuff, which I'll talk about in a moment here. <clears throat> but I would like to say good evening. And, uh, well, it's not, it's not evening for all of you. For me, it's actually afternoon. I know for some of you it's evening, for some of you it may be, I don't even know. You guys uh, and gals are all over the world. I always, Every time I ask, I find out you guys are all over the place uh, on the planet, which is pretty wild to think that I have such a widespread viewer base. It's a pretty awesome feeling. So, how's everyone doing today? Huh? <laughs> Dapex1 already started up today with 100-bit cheer. He says, which hedgehog is the best hedgehog? Um... <clears throat> it's a good question, right? I would have to say that the best hedgehog is that doofy-looking one in the band from Sonic Underground, the one that acts stupid. There you go. That's the best hedgehog. I don't know his name, but there he is. It's that one. So, <laughs> welcome. Today's gameplay stream is <clears throat> the continuation of Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. Okay. Sonic Adventure 2. Pretty excited to check it out. Um, as you know, I started playing this on the fly on Friday. I originally wasn't planning to play this game this week. Um, but, you know, things just came together. First of all, Tacoma, which was the new release of last week, ended up being incredibly short. And I ended up wrapping up Sonic Adventure uh, 1 on Friday, which I wasn't also wasn't planning on beating it that quickly. So those two things combined uh, allowed me to have a lot of free time this week and not knowing exactly what to do. Um, I've decided that I'm going to uh, play Sonic Adventure 2. And I just did it, boom, on the fly, uh, out of nowhere on Friday. People really seem to enjoy that I did that. Um, and immediately, as I uploaded these videos on Friday... Part one of the playthrough gets content ID claimed on YouTube for a, ga a song called Gangsta's Fairy Tale. Gangsta's Fairy Tale. Because you all know that really hardcore uh, rap, gangsta rap soundtrack of Sonic Adventure 2. Everyone's playthroughs get claimed for all the hardcore gangsta rap licensed music that's obviously in the game, right? How fucking stupid. No, there's none... It's not in the game. <laughs> it's basically... YouTube's content ID system is a piece of shit. It does not work. Um, at all. It's fake. It's complete garbage. It identified a song that's not in the game. And I even played... This is Content Match here. You play, and it's playing that song, Escape from the City. You know, follow me, set me free. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. It's playing that song. I'm like, oh, uh, this is not gangster fucking fairy tale or whatever the fuck they're talking about. Assholes. Um, so, I disputed the claim and hopefully it gets cleared up. The problem is, here's the problem. YouTube puts all the power in the content ID claim situations in the hands of music studios. Okay? Publishers and or, you know, whoever has the rights to music. There's nothing to stop this company that owns the rights to Gangsta's fairy tale from saying, oh, well, we own the rights to that song, therefore, fuck it, we're just going to claim it. Even though the song isn't in the video, they could actually press the issue and say, oh, well, we own the rights to it. Now, if that happens, I'm going to tear YouTube a new asshole. I'm going to write their personal email and tell them that if they don't release the claim on the video that I'm going to open a lawsuit against them. And I'm sure that they're going to take care of it then. Because it seems like YouTube doesn't actually fucking do anything unless you threaten them with a lawsuit. That's how I got the false copyright strikes uh, of, you know, people, someone impersonating Rockstar. That's how I got those removed. So I guess I'm just going to have to do the same thing. Not that it matters, it's like, let's face it, this is Sonic Adventure 2. How many people are going to be watching this playthrough? Is it going to be a popular playthrough? Probably not. It's a throwback retro game. It's not even one that I had hyped or released or... Uh, previously like announced or, or told people I was going to be doing it's a more on the fly thing just to kill time this week I'm not expecting a lot of uh you know response to it but at the same time um 
It's kind of on principle. It's bullshit. YouTube should not have a broken system in place where it can mis misidentify songs and then fucking steal money from you. You know? Bullshit. Pretty fucking bullshit. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. So, today, the continuation of Sonic Adventure 2 here on stream, folks. I'm looking forward to it. As I told you guys on Friday, I never played this game. I had only played it for a few minutes, and then the whole thing had crashed out. And I never had an opportunity to finish it. Um, so, now I'm having fun playing it for the first time. Really, just experiencing all the stages for the first time. Um, you know. Uh, it's fun. It's been pretty crazy. Um... Very fast-paced, right? All the Sonic stages are insanely fast. The Tail stages are insanely chaotic with the amount of explosions and, and missiles and shit. If anything, the only thing that's slowing the playthrough down is the Knuckle stages, which in my opinion suck. I think the Knuckle stages are really bad. I actually think they're worse than the Knuckle stages from Sonic Adventure 1. And I didn't like those. <laughs> so I guess it is what it is. All right, I got a few shout-outs to do here before we get started with talking about a few things. Because I have a few updates for everyone here on pre-stream today. Um, Black Mage C-Type did a 10-bit cheer. and says, have I ever considered revisiting Dying Light? The game has long since had all major bugs patched, has received tons of free updates, and a full-blown expansion. I don't even remember the game. What the hell is Dying Light? I'm not even kidding you. What is Dying Light? I don't even remember the game. Does anyone remember this game? Dying Light? What game is that? Zombies? <laughs> what is it? Wait a minute. Are you talking about the game from two years ago? Or was it last year? No, it was two years ago, right? Yeah, it was early 2015. Right? Yeah, that was two years ago. Holy shit, dude. I don't even remember that game. I'd like now I do because now everyone's talking about it in the stream chat. But like, dude, <laughs> I haven't just saying the name. I didn't even ring a bell at all in my head because that was two and a half years ago. Yeah, it was early. I think it was February of <clears throat> uh, 2015. Damn. But anyway, no, I have no plans of going back to Dying Light. I did beat the entire game. Um, I I was aware there were DLC expansions, but I'm not interested. Um. Shout out to Carlos K, who did a 101-bit cheer, and then did a 102-bit cheer, and said, nothing beats the old school thugs on the floor. That would have been something, huh? That would have been something if, like, um, like, let's say, for example, a, f uh, a fan who did a remix, uh, submitted a fan remix to YouTube for content ID, and then my voice just got content ID bashed in every fucking video. Ha ha ha! I guess I should shut the, shut the fuck up before something stupid like that happens. Because honestly, I wouldn't put it past YouTube to have that stupid shit happen. To be completely honest. <clears throat> Alright. So anyway, folks. Um, so here's the deal. Let's talk about a few things. First, let's talk about what you can expect in the next few days. Then we're going to talk about Patreon. Because I think I've solidified this month's goal. I want to run it by you guys and see what you, what you think. Okay, um, so today, Sonic Adventure 2 right now on stream. Tonight, I'll be doing the week of preview, all right, where I'll thoroughly cover the week, uh, you know, what I'm going to be playing. Oh my God, excuse me. Excuse me. Can you tell I'm drinking a V8 energy drink? Excuse me. No, I'm not eating chili dogs like Sonic. I'm just drinking an energy drink and it's freaking going nuts here. Um, all right. Tonight, also, after I do the weekend preview, it's patron stuff. And it's a busy night for me because what I got to do is basically go through all the patron data to find out who pledged what for the month of July um, and message all of the patrons for July on the website, patreon.com. So usually it's three categories, people who pledged five bucks, people who pledged 20 bucks, and people who pledged 50 bucks because those are three uh, pledge categories where you get perks that I need information from you. It give you like forum upgrades, um, or I need questions from you for a private Q and A video, that kind of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so that'll be tonight. That takes a while. Usually, it takes me like over an hour 
to go through all the patron data and sort it all out into the categories. And I'm also going to create tonight the nominations thread on the kinghate.com forums by which July patrons can start nominating the patron's choice playthrough that's going to start either in like mid to late September or early October. Okay. So that's good because we'll already get that started. We'll get people posting up games. I'm curious to see what games people will nominate now that the JRPG long drawn out narrative style games will not be uh, in there as options. Instead, it's going to be, uh, you know, more, more variety of games that are going to be nominated. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay. So, um, that's tonight. It's a lot of work for me. A weekend preview and doing that. It's probably going to be a few hours of work. So, tomorrow, we're back to double streams, folks. Tomorrow, I'll be continuing Sonic Adventure 2. And then tomorrow night, we return to Danganronpa for two hours or so. Um, pretty intrigued because last session on Friday, we went to the final island. A lot of kind of mysterious stuff happened. And then a big cliffhanger kind of ending to the stream. <clears throat> and I'm really... Uh, I'm really excited to see uh, how this turns out in Danganronpa. People are telling me that Danganronpa 2 is about to heat up big time. So I guess we'll find out. Wolfling in the stream chat says that I wish that Phil would review the double, double Chalupa from Taco Bell. I did. You must not have seen it. I released that like a month ago. No lie. Go go check out the King of Hate vlogs. I re reviewed the double Chalupa there. It's <laughs> It's been reviewed. You got to check it out, man. <clears throat> okay. So, that's tomorrow. All right. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday is up in the air. And why I say that is I have not 100% decided yet what I'm going to be playing on Tuesday. But I, I'm leaning toward... Um, I'm strongly leaning toward checking out this game called Hellblade. It's a game from the makers of the, I guess, the original Devil May Cry. Which, of course, Devil May Cry now has been run into the fucking ground by Capcom. And they have no plans to make another game in the franchise. So I guess the dev team went on to make their own game. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of playing that on Tuesday. Plus, it's a discounted game. It's only a $30 release, apparently. So I'm thinking of doing that on Tuesday. Playing the, through that uh, this week. And if I do that, then I can balance that with Sonic Adventure, right? Those could be the two games that I'm playing on my main streams during the week, going back and forth between them. And then at night, I could be doing Danganronpa 2. <clears throat> so that's kind of what I'm thinking um, for the week, all right? Now, also, there's going to be some special stuff going on this week. First of all, at one point this week, I think it's going to be Wednesday, I'm going to be making a pot of my Italian sauce. Now... This is a little different than usual because, as you know, uh, I'm single again. I'm here by myself. So for the first time ever, I'm going to be making the sauce by myself. I've done it before because I, I actually made this sauce a couple times before back when I lived in Connecticut. However, to make this sauce by yourself is a lot more work because typically what I would do is split the work. Like, I would be doing one thing while my ex-girlfriend would be doing another thing and it would get all the prep done pretty quickly. Okay, um, now, sadly, I got to do it all myself. So what used to take about 45 minutes to an hour to get the sauce going is probably going to take me upwards of two hours doing it by myself. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to negatively affect anything on a stream because I start streaming at 12.30 anyway. So all I'll do is I'll just get up earlier that day and I'll try to do the sauce, get it done, and get it going for before I start streaming, okay? Um... In addition, this time I'm doing the sauce a little bit differently. I'm actually going to be making it with chicken sausage because, as you know, I can't eat a lot of red meat anymore. And being that now it's, this sauce is just for me, um, why am I going to make it with meatballs or sausage that I can't really eat? So I'm going to make it with chicken sausage, which I actually picked up last night from Trader Joe's. Um, and it should be pretty good. I'm going to season it a little differently, too. I'm going to try to make it a little bit less spicy. Um... You know, pretty pretty interesting, right? We'll see what happens. It's going to be a different style. I'm going to do it a little differently. But anyway, that's probably going to be on Wednesday morning, which means that Wednesday, Wednesday's stream is going to be what I consider a saucy stream, okay, where I'm going to be every 20 to 30 minutes taking a break to go downstairs and stir the sauce. 
Now, I don't know if I'll be playing Hellblade or Sonic Adventure 2 on Wednesday yet. But one, whatever, whichever game it is, it's going to be a stream that's going to be a little bit more delayed, okay? Just to forewarn everyone. Not that it's delayed, but that's not, not what I meant to say. It's going to be more break, like lots of breaks, okay? So it'll still be a fun stream, just to be a little bit different. And then, on this coming Thursday, I'm going to be doing Hate Live. Yes, Hate Live will return my podcast. Um... <clears throat> topics will include things such as a preview of all the fall games, all right, that are coming out, uh, an overall opinion on the summer and how it's been in regards to the projects that I've covered and things like that. I'll probably be talking a little bit about KO Gaming and its future because obviously that's been on hiatus for a long time, right? Um, any gaming news or anything that's going on in gaming news, at that time, including, I'll probably talk more at length about YouTube getting sued by a, by a YouTuber and stuff like that. So it's going to be a fun podcast, all right? The podcast could, returns this Thursday, all right? So it's going to be a fun week. Sonic Adventure 2, Hellblade, Danganronpa 2, Saucy Wednesday, and then a podcast on Thursday. Sound good? Sound good, a lot of stuff to cover, right? A lot of stuff to talk about. Um, but it'll be a fun week, I think, all right? Now let's talk quickly about Patreon. Because I want to run this actually by everyone here on the stream right now and see what you think, okay? I think I solidified the goal for this month, the Patreon goal, all right? Now don't, don't, uh, don't get surprised because the goal is related to Halloween. And you may say, what? Why are you, why is August's Patreon goal... Um, affecting Halloween. That's kind of weird that it's so far ahead of time that you're going to have it be a Halloween goal, right? Well, fair enough. I mean, that's a good question because you might say, you know, it's two months ahead of time. Um, it's this simple. The reason I'm doing it this early, all right, is because I need the time to get everyone who pledges in August upgraded on the forums and get them in line so they can nominate and then start voting on stuff. Because here you go. Because here's what it is. It's a dual goal this month. Alright? It's a dual event that's going to happen in the month of October based off of this month's Patreon. Alright? So, here's how it works. First of all, in the month of August, if you pledge $5 or more, regardless of the fact if we hit the goal or not, you're going to get to nominate and vote on horror-themed games that I'm going to play during a Halloween horror marathon at the end of October, all right? It's the first time ever, ever, folks, that I'm actually doing this. It's basically an extra perk. It's not really a goal. It's an extra bonus perk. Pledge five bucks in August, nominate and vote on games for the horror marathon, even if we don't hit the goal, all right? So that's pretty good. It's basically a bonus perk. Now... The real goal here, all right, is that if we do hit the $1,250 funding goal, which on my Patreon page says $1,125, I know, it's all fucked up. If we hit the funding goal for August, people will also be nominating and voting on, well, not really nominating, let's say, voting on a category of costume that I will be wearing on Halloween during this horror marathon, Okay. I've never done this before, but what it'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll narrow it down to categories. For example, it'll be like classic horror horror monsters, you know. That'll be one category. So if people vote for that, I'll have to be like either Dracula or Frankenstein. You know what I mean? Like one of those classic a ghost, something like that, all right? Um, or I have video game characters will be a category. So then, if people vote for that, all right, well, I have to be like, I have to see what costumes they have. Will they have like a Mario or Luigi or Donkey Kong? Or maybe they'll have a really wild video game costume that I can get, right? Who knows? Then I'll, maybe I'll do like pop culture, you know? So I'll probably narrow it down to like maybe five categories um, that, that patrons will be voting on. And whatever category wins, I'm going to have to go out and get that costume. Now, you might say, well, why is Phil doing that so early? It's very simple. Because if I get, let's say, for example, I put the poll up in September, which is when it would be, because people will be pledging in August. 
I get them upgraded and have their forums, you know, ready to vote in early September. By mid-September, they can start voting, which means the poll will be over by early October, giving me an entire month to go around and look at Halloween costumes for Halloween. See what I mean? If I didn't do it this early, like let's say that I did it in September is the goal. Well, then it would take a week just to get everyone upgraded on the forums. They'd start voting. By the time the voting ended, it would already be Halloween and all those costumes would be sold out. So that's why I'm doing it so early. So I have a whole month to go out and get a great costume based off of the category that the patrons are going to vote for. Okay. <clears throat> So there you go. It's a dual month. If you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon, number one, by default, you're going to get to nominate and vote on the horror-themed games that I'm playing on Halloween during my horror marathon. And then number two, if we hit the funding goal for this month, you'll be able to vote on the category of Halloween costume that I'll be wearing during said marathon. How does that sound? Pretty good, right? I think it's probably one of the best goals I've ever thought of on Patreon. Seriously. A dual goal. So, please, folks, consider pledging to my Patreon this month. I'm glad that I got this sorted out so early so now I could talk about it all month because sometimes I don't get these goals sorted for like the last week. Um, <clears throat> so, there you go. Shout out, by the way, shout out to Griffin Box who cheered 100 bits and said Phil and then forgot to put the rest of his message. It was a mistake. So, he cheered another 100 bits. And he said, sorry for saying Phil. Can't wait for the Halloween event. I hope that Disney Afternoon Collection is nominated. Yes, well, right now, tonight, I will be creating the poll. <clears throat> excuse me, not the poll. The thread by which July patrons will be nominating games for this upcoming Patrons Choice playthrough. Um, Disney Afternoon Collection is definitely one that could be nominated. Um, Night in the Woods, people wanted to see me play that. That could be nominated. Um, Jack 3, people have wanted to see me play this for years. That could be nominated. So there's lots of options, all right? Lots of options that can be given here um, for this upcoming Patron's Choice. I hope the patrons will, will start to think of some great stuff to nominate starting tonight. All right. <clears throat> all right, that's really all I have to talk about on the pre-stream. So real quick, I already talked about Patreon. I won't talk about that again. I will mention my Teespring, where you can get some high-quality T-shirts, um, you know, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, great quality stuff. My new line of designs are up and live, and I bought both of them because I love them both. Thank you to, to people who, first of all, have made designs for me. Um, over the, the you know past few months, I launched my Teespring back in, what was it, March? So thank you for that. And thanks to anyone who's bought something, I get a pretty good commission from those sales, so I really do appreciate that, okay? Um, <clears throat> last but not least, folks, if you enjoy my daily live streams, right? You like me being on the air every day, you love these broadcasts, you love tuning in, or on the flip side of that, maybe you just like watching the on-demand videos on YouTube, right? Whichever it is, whatever's your cup of tea, if you want to see me... Continue to be able to do this. There are three ways during the live streams that you can directly support the efforts. Okay, number one is to cheer with bits. Number two is to uh, sub subscribe to my channel here on Twitch. And number three is to tip me. All right. Um, if you're not sure how to tip, because people do ask this from time to time, if you take a look at my Twitch page here, Directly below the stream, there's the grid that has all the information, like the rules and everything. If you look at the tips section, there's a picture of me posing with Pokemon. If you click on it, it'll take you to the tips page. And there you can either do an anonymous tip, or you can actually give your personal information, like your name, and leave a message. Okay? If you cheer 50 bits or more, if you click on the share button after subscribing to the channel, or if you tip me $2 or more during the course of this stream, there will be a pop-up on-screen notification to thank you for your cheer, sub, or tip. So it's kind of like double recognition because if you do those things regardless, I'm going to give you a shout out on the stream, but you'll also get a visual recognition as well. So it's like I said, dual. You get visual and kind of verbal recognition if you do do those things, all right? I'm very appreciative of those who do these things. You guys basically allow me to keep doing this full time and I'm very much appreciative of it, okay? Um, I will say this. Um, for the next few days at least, 
basically right now, here's what's going on with me. And this is real talk. You guys know I talk about this stuff every once in a while. Not all the time. Real talk right now is that money is super tight because there's two or three bills that popped up out of nowhere that I wasn't expecting, including a sewer tax bill for the state of Connecticut for my condo in Connecticut where no one lives and no one's using water, yet they're still billing me $400 for a sewer tax fucking bill because that's why I moved the fuck out of Connecticut because they tax you for everything. It's ridiculous the amount of bullshit in Connecticut to live there. It sucks ass, all right? So anyway, I get this bill out of nowhere uh, uh, two days ago, and the bill says that it's overdue because they accidentally sent it to the Connecticut address instead of out here, regardless of the fact that they already knew that I moved three fucking years ago, and they sent it to this address the other two years. So basically, the, the town, the, the previous town that I used to live in in Connecticut fucked up, mailed the bill to the wrong address, yet they're saying that I'm overdue on the bill. <laughs> Morons. Okay? Fucking morons. Um, but the reason I'm saying this is it sucks right now. Financially for me, stuff's tight because of this stupid shit like that going on. So if you are thinking of supporting me on the stream today, I would prefer if you could tip me, all right? Now, I'm not saying I'm unappreciative if you do cheer or you sub, all right? I am. I'm very appreciative of that, and it still helps, you know? It's just that right now, if you tip me, I get that stuff right away, and it'll help me right away with this bullshit going on. Versus if you cheer or sub, that's money that gets held up for like two months. And I'll get that around uh, October. Okay. So. Yes, I would be very appreciative if you could have the option, if you could tip me. Um, but again, if you don't, like I know, you know some people the other day were like, you know, well, Phil, I just got bits. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Okay. I'm not looking to give horse in the mouth. I'm very appreciative of anything. I'm just saying if you have the option, that would help me out. Right now at this particular time. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Thank you very much everybody. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. Alright. Let me give you a few more shout, shout outs here. And then we're going to get started. Shout out to Dapex1 who did a 20 bit cheer and says fuck the sewers. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag sewer level. How about hashtag sewer bill. Fucking assholes. I'm not living there. No water is on in the condo in Connecticut, but I get charged $400 for a fucking sewer use bill. Assholes. Anyway, um, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me again. Uh, shout out to Janet Ark, who did a 10-bit cheer, and says, DSP is the hero Twitch needs, but not that it deserves. Very nice. <clears throat> All right, that is it for the pre-stream. Thank you, everyone, folks. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed today's Sonic Adventure stream. I'm looking forward to it. I actually don't know how long Sonic Adventure 2 is. People are saying it's around 10 to 15 hours, kind of similar to Sonic Adventure 1. So if that is the case, um, I've already played it for about an hour and a half um, <clears throat> on Friday, right? Um, today I'm going to play it for around three to three and a half hours, so we'll be around five hours into it. So about halfway, which probably means like two more major streams, maybe I'll beat it, because I'm going to play it again, as I said, tomorrow. Um, so maybe just one to two more streams later on in the week, and we'll wrap up the game. So it'll be perfect, because I'll do that, and then Hellblade, right? I think it'll be a good, uh, a good mix this week. I think I'll have enough time to wrap everything up. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, everyone. Let's begin. Sonic Adventure 2, here we go. <laughs> 